Hello everyone, happy Friday. Uh, this is Lyle with Bully Dog and SCT. Many of you guys have met uh, before. Um, if you haven't, I am the senior account manager over here at Bully Dog and SCT. Uh, thanks for attending this training. Uh, let's hop right into it. Da, da, da. All right. So one of the things I wanted to focus on right off the bat was the SCT and the Bully Dog authorized reseller program. So many of you guys are very familiar with the program and have been, uh, you know, being a great partner with us on it. Um, I know it's been a, a bit of a pain in the butt, but I just wanted to put this slide in here to kind of give you guys an update and to show you how it really is paying off. So essentially what it was, was due to third party sites such as Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, and the type of people that were selling our products on, on those places, we set up an authorized reseller program to make sure that everyone who obtains our product in the future is a legit dealer who you know has a tax ID storefront all that kind of good stuff so we're trying to get rid of the people selling our products you know basically at cost and cutting off and ripping off you know people with actual expenses and storefronts so like I said it's been active since January it's been a big hurdle for not only us but a lot of our dealers and WDs however I do have some good news I have an update as of 9 15 of this year uh, Bully Dog and SCT achieved zero map and policy violations on Amazon uh, that is a huge deal. Uh, not very many companies have been able to accomplish what we've done. Um, and obviously, Amazon is a big customer to us. But to us, taking care of our core dealers uh, was our number one priority. So it's kind of a hats off to our policy team and definitely all of our WDs who took part in help making this happen. So we definitely appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing, and we will keep uh, helping you guys out as well. So the main thing that we're going to focus on in this webinar is new applications. Uh, so the first one I want to touch base on is the Bully Dog BDX, uh, part number 40470. Uh, we have added 2017 GM53 V8 tuning to this product. So to give you an idea of what that means, we'll go on to the next slide. So we have added the Silverado, the Yukon, Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon XL and Sierra. So here, what you see is six applications. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal. However, when we go to the next slide here, by supporting the 17 Chevy and GM applications, this adds 359, 545 thousand potential new customers and trucks to tune. So this is the amount of trucks that have been sold uh, since June 30th of 2017. That is a lot of trucks on the road. Um, obviously, when people buy pickups, they are hauling things with them, they're towing, they're modifying, whether it's, you know, adding more power, steps, whatever, guys like to modify their trucks. So that's a lot of new potential customers and trucks that could be potentially tuned with one of our products. So not only does that help us selling more product, but it helps you guys selling more product because, I mean, for being honest, we both make money from selling the same product. So just want to make sure that you can see the impact of adding the 17 applications to this work. Uh, just lots of new trucks, lots of new opportunities. The next thing I wanted to touch on on the Chevy 5.3 was the dyno chart. So one of the biggest things I get requests for are dyno charts, uh, whether it's from end users, dealers, wholesales. It doesn't matter. It's a huge request I get almost every day. So we do have dyno charts for most of our new applications on our website now. As you can see, we're able to break down the dyno charts by 87 octane, 93 versus the stock 87 and stock 93 as well. Um, see a couple different colors here to differentiate on the chart. Um, I won't spend too much time on this particular slide because I'm going to show you some more interesting stuff on the data charts here um, in the future. So on the 17 GM 5.3 liter engine, a stock 93 octane uh, tune made 278 horsepower at 5,600 RPMs. With the Bully Dog 93 octane tune, we made 310 horsepower, so 32, 32 horsepower more at 5,500 RPMs. So not only did we make more horsepower, but we made it earlier in the RPM range, which is very helpful when you're doing things like towing. Uh, torque, we made 341 foot pounds of torque compared to 310. So that's a 43 foot pound torque gain, which is not too shabby for a gas engine. So not only is there a noticeable horsepower gain, but the power curve is much smoother as well. So, and that's something I'll show you when we get into the data charts here in a minute. Another new application I want to talk to you guys about, it's actually probably the number one requested application we get when it comes to gas tuning on trucks, is the 2017 
F-150. And this is going to include the Raptor with the EcoBoost and normal EcoBoost F-150. So this port adds the 3.5 EcoBoost F-150, the EcoBoost Raptor, the 5 liter F-150, and then the 2.7 liter EcoBoost we don't have yet, but it is coming very soon. I'll give you guys an update when it hits the market. Um, just like the GM, I wanted to give you a good idea of how many of these trucks are on the road. Uh, so far, as of June 30th, so there's definitely a little bit more now, was roughly about 170,000 potential new customers and vehicles that we have the opportunity to modify and tune. So as you can see, the Raptor is by far the least popular one at 13,000 sold. The standard 3.5 F-150 is the most popular at 88,000, while the 5 liter following closely at 67,000. Again, I wanted to throw in the downer chart so you can see exactly what uh, you know what the power curves kind of look like on here. Down here at the bottom, you have the stock run, and then you have our 87, and then our 93 octane tune. So not only is it making more power early in the RPM range, you can see the peaks, even a little bit of the smoothness is much better than stock. So getting to the actual horsepower gains, the stock 93 basically put stock, or I guess 93 octane from the pump in these trucks, it made 278 horsepower at 5,600 RPM. With the Bully Dog aftermarket 93 octane tune, we made 368 horsepower, which is a 90 horsepower gain at 5,500 RPMs. So again, we made more power earlier in the RPM range, which is awesome. No one, no one is going to cry about that. <laughs> so, and then we also picked up 137 foot pounds of torque which is incredible for a gas truck. So as these trucks get newer, their computers get more complicated, which is sometimes a bad thing. But in this case, it gives us more control over the engine and over what we can do. So again, horsepower gains alongside a more usable power curve, definitely something no one's going to complain about. Changing gears to the diesel side of things real quick. Uh, we do have the 2017 Cummins Sport on the Bully Dog GT diesel, which is the part number 404. To zero. So an increase of 90 horsepower, 167 foot pounds of torque, increased mileage, roughly one to three, depending on uh, you know their truck and how they drive, uh, increased usable power band, and it does have the ECM unlock capabilities in case they want to utilize any kind of other aftermarket tuning. So when I talk about a more usable power band, the Dodge Cummins is definitely the best example of it. So I want to point out here, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse or not, but you got this lighter green color, which is going to be the stock torque curve. Then the blue one is our tow tune. So this is just the tow tune, nothing crazy. Um, it's about a 40 horsepower gain, and I want to say about 60 foot pounds of torque. So the stock torque peaks, let's say that's about 2300 RPMs is where the stock torque curve peaks. And then after that, it drops off considerably. So your power band is going to be about 16, 1700 RPMs to about 2300 RPMs. Now, when you go through and tune with the Bully Dog GT, just on the tow tune, you're not only going to get peak torque quicker, uh, considerably quick, a couple hundred RPMs, but instead of dropping off right here, the peak torque continues all the way to almost 3000 RPMs. So you get almost 500 additional RPMs just by going to a Bully Dog tune. So one of the biggest things I get from customers is, you know, my truck's got plenty of power. I don't need more power. Well, obviously here, we really didn't increase the horsepower that much or even the torque that much. What we focused on was making that power curve more usable to where it's an easier and less stressful driving experience if you're towing something. So just want to point that out. Um, a lot of these customers, they say they have more power, but if you show them this download chart, um, they're, you know, they're very likely to... You know, but like, oh, wow, I had no idea. So it really does increase the, uh, the power band of the vehicle. So I'm going to switch gears here real quick. Just give me a second here. I want to show you how these download charts work on our website. So we're just going to go to products. We're going to punch in the 2017 Dodge Cummins. Click on the Bully Dog GT. All right, so the first thing you're going to see when you punch in an application on our site, you're obviously going to see the price. 
Um, and then the horsepower gain. So 90 horsepower, 167 foot pounds of torque. But what I wanted to show you was the dyno chart. So simply click on the dyno chart. And not only have we got a lot of requests for dyno charts and people just expect something simple, we've actually made it interactive to where you can see exactly where the power is gained, what RPMs, and what exactly is happening. So as you see here, you can run your mouse along it and see the exact values for each part of the graph. So if you want to compare, let's say just, we're going to compare the stock versus the tow run. Like I said, peak torque for stock is going to be 2330 RPM. And you have made 617 foot-pounds of torque. And with the Bully Dog Tune at 2230 RPM, you are making 608 foot-pounds of torque, so more torque earlier. So it's pretty cool if we want to compare, you know, maybe the uh, the stock run versus the extreme. Obviously, much more torque and horsepower has been added to it. Um, but this is just a good tool that you can show your customers exactly what is being modified and where in the power band of your vehicle. So definitely a very good resource, very good tool. Um, should definitely help clear up some of the dyno questions as well as, you know, a good selling tool to try and get some customers interested in tuning their vehicle. The next thing I wanted to show everyone is, I'm just going to go to the main page here just so you know how to find it, is some of the resources that we have available online outside of the website. So this one, we are going to talk about our YouTube page. So simply type in Bully Dog Technologies. You're going to get a few videos from people who probably have sponsored ads on there. But if you scroll down, you'll see Bully Dog Tech right here. So the reason I'm showing this to you guys is... This is a very good tool. If you have any dealers that, you know, maybe they're interested in selling programmers, but they don't quite know that much about them, or maybe they've sold a few, but they still have some questions here and there, uh, direct them to our YouTube channel. So from the homepage, just click on videos, and you're going to get all kinds of videos. So some of these videos are fun, you know, like here's SEMA and, you know, some of the cool projects we've had going on, but there's a lot of information that can be had on here. For instance, if you click on this, it's going to give you just a quick rundown on the high flow DPF. If you scroll down, we've got a lot of tutorial videos on how to operate our programmers. So like how to check software, how to clear ETCs, how to set safety defuel levels, etc. We've got tons of the videos that explain our products, explain how certain functions work, and uh, basically really help you or the customer out with learning the product without actually having to buy one first. So <clears throat> pretty cool. We have the exact same thing for SET. You just type in SET in the search bar. Same kind of deal, go from home to videos. SET is a little bit more fun oriented, kind of showing off, but we still do have product install videos, as you can see here, learn how to read and clear diagnostic codes with the SET X4. Got some live wire setup stuff. So utilize these resources, feel free to share them with customers, dealers, other employees. Um, they really are a good deal to uh, you know learn more about our products. So I will be sending this webinar out uh, since it has been recorded, I've linked some of the useful links here, just the general YouTube channel for SET, Bully Dog, BDX install demonstration, performance DPF, and the X4. So if you guys ever have any questions, you know, always go to our YouTube page. If there's anything that I can help you out with, please reach out to me. Um, you should have my phone number. If not, you can reach me at 208-530-1787. Or you can always reach out via email, lyle.r at bullydog.com or lyle.richmond at derivedsystems.com. So I want to thank everyone for attending. Uh, we'll do a Q&A session after the recording. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions outside of this demonstration, maybe you watch the recording, uh, you know, please shoot me a message or give me a call and we can discuss anything we need to to increase your business. So thanks for attending, everyone. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.